So you're a Caberian. I'm a Caberian. Right. Very proud Caberian. Very proud Caberian. So that's where you did your high school in. That's where I I I, I undertook my secondary education. How was that? It was great actually yeah. because I went there feeling so sad. Oh, I'd not made it to PB. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and at some point, we had also considered other choices like either continue with LCVR because yeah, yeah just finish they, finish they at had, LCVR yeah, because yeah. they had secondary school. Yeah. But it was a day school. Yeah. Uh, and then also Kianda. Yeah. I also did the Kianda exam, yeah. I think, because again, because of the Catholic, mm -hmm. you know, but it was a day mm -hmm. school and mm -hmm. I was really keen on just mm -hmm. being independent being and going to boarding school. Mm -hmm. But so I, I didn't go with so many expectations mm -hmm. apart from the nice uniform. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, but it, it was great yeah. because at, at Moi Girls School Nairobi mm -hmm. at that time, mm -hmm. it was a very, can I say, um, a school where there was a lot of freedom, if I can right. call it. Right. You know, it wasn't these boarding schools where now you have to wake up at 5 a.m., go to class, do preps, mm -hmm. you know, then go do chores. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it was a different experience from all the other boarding stories of boarding schools. Because so, my brother was also in a boarding school. Mm -hmm. He was in Nairobi school. Mm -hmm. And these stories of school kind of scared me. Uh -huh. So when I went to Cubs and by the way, you could sleep until the bell, the bell for leaving the hostel would ring at 7.45 a.m. In the morning? Yes. That's in a so, school? In a school. Oh. <laughs> Why is for it for, from from one up to from four? If you don't want to go for morning prep, that's your that's your problem. If you want to sleep what? in, but by seven forty five, you have to be out, go for breakfast because assembly parade will be done at eight. So so it was freedom. If you want to sleep, fine. Um, you go to class from eight, of course, with the breaks up to Some uh, up to four. There. Yes, up yeah. to four, mm. and then four. If you want to go do sports, mm. it's okay. If you want to go for cross, okay. I think the only thing that was compulsory for some two months in the, of the year was cross country, mm. but anything at four, four mm. to six, four mm. to, actually four to seven was your free time. Mm. If you wanted to go back and read, well and good. Oh wow! If you wanted to go and sleep and just chill in the dorm, some people uh, would actually fine. find that very good. Exactly. Yeah. But for me. Um, and even the weekends were also quite free. Mm. Saturday, we, I think we only had prep like for two hours from mm -hmm. eight to 10. Mm. After that, you go do your thorough cleaning, your mm. chores. We mm. all used to be assigned chores in different parts of the school. school. Mm -hmm. But once you've done your chores, mm -hmm. you can just sit outside, chill outside the hostel, mm. do your hair. Yeah. <laughs> That's do your thing. hair, do your picnics in the field. Yeah. If you want to read, go back to class and read. It's okay. Oh wow. We'd have your music. We'd have the what's to call them? Uh, yeah, we'd have music sessions in the evening. Right. Um, where you know, if you want to go listen to music, mm. dance, it's okay. Mm. Watch TV. Yeah. For the people, I mean, the the people who are saved. If you mm. want to go for Christian Union, mm. yeah, you can do that. Mm. If you want to still continue reading, it's fine. Mm. And then Sunday. Well, after you finish church, mm, mm. Uh, I would go for mass every mm. every every Sunday, of course. Yeah. Or the people, if you're going for service, mm. it's yeah. Mm. And then after that, you can continue reading or just chilling. Mm. So mm. for me, <laughs> mm -hmm. of course, when I came in, I, I, as I said, I'm a, I'm a I'm a book person. Yeah. I was still a book person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. So I and then I, I got the opportunity to stay with older people in my cube. I was staying with uh with uh, the the third form as well in form three. Right. So they're already into that culture of reading because they had they are sitting for exams the next year. Mm. So because of that, I, I also got into that thing of any free time for me was reading time. Mm. So while people are still sleeping up to seven, you go me, read. I've gone to class. Right. I've woken up at 3 a.m. Mm. I've gone to class. Wow. Yes. So so for that that I, I liked cabs though. So mm. because they didn't force us to do things. Mm. You mm. know, when you mm. saw those A's or A minuses, mm. when you saw all those high flyers then, mm. it was not people who had been, you know, books had been forced down their throats. Mm. It was out of their own, you know, their own motivation, mm. their own initiative and their own sweat. Mm. So, so I, I really relished that time in cabs mm. uh, because for me, it made me uh, be the independent person that I am today, independent yeah. thinking. Yeah. I plan my things. No one forces me to do anything mm. because no one forced me to read then. Mm. Uh, and I was very young. Mm. Um, and, and it made me uh, very self-motivated, you know, yeah. self-driven from at that time. Yeah. Yeah, because I realized no one is going to force me to do all these things. Mm. So by the time I went to campus, which is normally a culture shock for many people, mm. I, w I had already had my own routine. Mm. I, no one forces me to go to class. I mm. will go to class. I will mm. read, mm. you know. So I, I really relish those moments. And a lot of my classmates, especially schoolmates during that time, mm. you find that it's the same kind of, it's the same, uh, you have that same character. 
yeah. you know yeah. if people are, are self-driven mm. yeah because mm. no one forced us you mm. know to be chops mm. <laughs> we did it out of out of our own mm. uh, initiative so cubs was good in that in that light mm. it was also a very can i say social school yeah so in terms of music um drama clubs and, mm. and other activities yeah i really also relished enjoyed enjoyed cubs because mm. of that mm. um of course because i developed an interest in writing yeah. from primary school mm. um and languages i was also quite good in languages mm. actually i was the best oh, um, student, student in, in kiswahili, in kiswahili. <laughs> don't ask me to do this interview in kiswahili though to badilishe mitandao no that and I, I, I was very good to be honest i was very good with i, I am still good with written kiswahili yeah, yeah. but spoken, spoken is a challenge is, it's been a while i mean yeah it's been a while i yeah. can do it i yeah. can do it yeah. if i'm yeah, yeah. if i yeah if, right. if i if i'm given time to prepare mm. But I, I was actually the best student. Mm. I used to write very good inshas. You know mm. those inshas that the teacher reads and anakwambia akikuja darasani anakwambia shila tafadhali simama usome insha lako because mm. it was good. Mm. Yeah actually oh, I think insha my insha is lako si yako. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> insha was a, yeah the, you remember insha the composition the Kiswahili right, compositions. Right, right, right. Yeah so that continued mm. through high school mm. um where I continued to do very well in in the languages. That was my thing. I, I was right. not into sciences. Mm. Mm. And even my father told me, mm. I don't try those sciences and math. I mean, yeah, because I, I, I was just more into reading mm. And, mm. and writing mm. and things like mm. that. Mm. Though at some point, I really pulled up my socks with mm -hmm. the sciences because I also told myself, I'm not going to be a failure. Even if I've not done so well in the sciences, mm. I'm not going to have <laughs> mm. a, 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 a bad grade mm -hmm. in my last certificate. Yeah. So I pulled up my socks in the, in the, last, in the last terms of... Mm -hmm of high school mm. just to prove that I'm not a failure in maths mm. and and, um, sciences. and sciences actually I done very poorly in maths mm. all through my my high school life mm. uh, uh, those marks of 15% 17% those mm. were normal mm. <laughs> and and a lot of girls mm. I, not it wasn't just me struggling mm. there were many of us struggling mm. many mm. of us girls mm. and at some point I think when I look back it was more or less of an attitude issue mm. Um, we had we had male teachers, mm -hmm. and some of them just wrote us off like, mm. mm. ah, girls and maths, no. Mm. And I think for some of us mm. who are so determined, we're like, no, that's not it. We that's can actually a really do it. Dynamic. Yes, yeah. we can mm. actually do it. Mm. So for me, I, I as even my my own dad told me at some point, he told mm. me if you concentrate so much on the maths and sciences, mm. you're going to even miss the choice. Mm. You know, the choice. Um, course that you want uh, to yeah, that course, you have in to have yeah. you want to take in university mm. Mm. so he encouraged me to focus on what i was good at mm. and forget about you know some the of the, the maths and the sciences yeah. but i told myself no mm. so when i went i remember when i went back for my last term in uh before the kcsc exam my, my brother coincidentally my elder brother was extremely good in maths and sciences mm. so he had done kcsc before me the mm. year before mm. and he would sit with me throughout the holidays mm. and take me through those chemi those chemistry formulas right those maths formulas yeah. so when i went the last term mm -hmm. i went and opened my form one mathematics book mm. and i started i do 20 sums a day wow 20 sums before kcsc had done mm from from one to from four mm. and i said bring that exam on mm. Mm. <laughs> so at home while them were expecting ah she'll just get a d mm. maybe the other she'll get an a mm. and that will help her now mm. you know get mm. to her choice mm. choice choice course mm. i actually excelled in maths and got a mm. b plus that's good so so everyone was shocked like mm. how you mm. know but mm. i just said because i i, I decided effort. that i was i'm not gonna be I'm yeah. not gonna let that D grade yeah. get into my yeah. Yeah. my last certificate of yeah. school. Yeah. So I always encourage, especially young girls, mm. um, don't give up mm. on some of these subjects mm -hmm. or, or or disciplines where mm. they say that no, you know, you're women, you exactly. can't do it. Yeah. I, I think you yeah. can if you put yeah. your yeah. mind to it. Yeah. And that's what I learned from my yeah. struggling experience yeah. with with maths and yeah. sciences. That STEM is possible. Even it, for girls. it is. It is yeah. so possible. Mm. In fact, in fact, it. I actually, when I was doing those mm. maths, uh, uh, you know, problems mm -hmm. when I was trying to you know go through them yeah. at the end of the my four years in yeah. high school i yeah. told myself my goodness why didn't i enjoy this thing before i actually yeah. enjoyed i mm. enjoyed solving those problems mm. so mm. I, mm. I encourage young young that's, women young girls that's really don't, don't give up on it even when yeah. they say so you can still do it yeah. yeah yeah that's really good 